Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. Imagine that we are sailing on a cruise in New England off of Block Island. To the southeast, we note a group of lights and a buoy. Each of these lights shows a quick flashing yellow characteristic. You can also see a buoy nearby that shows a group of five yellow flashes every 20 seconds. The abbreviation PRIV means private maintained. Let's turn to chart number one to find out what type of structures each of these five lights shows. We look under the lights section, which says navigational lights on landmarks or other structures. If we look under the landmarks section, we see both the nautical and electronic symbol, which indicates a wind turbine or wind motor. Now that we know each of these five structures represents a wind turbine or wind motor, we still need more information on light WTG3. Notice that it shows a horn equipped with MRASS, which is the Mariner Radio Activated Sound Signal. This sound signal can be triggered from your VHF FM radio set to a specific frequency. We can use the U.S. Coast Guard Light List to find out more information on Light WTG3. Coast Guard Light Lists give details on lighted and unlighted aids to navigation in U.S. waters. Go into a Google search window and type in USCG Navigation Center. Then click on the link that says Light List. This will take you to the Navigation Center home page, and here you can see the nine regions covered by the U.S. Coast Guard Light Lists. Click on the region that covers New England waters. Download this PDF file and save it to your computer. Open up that file and click on the magnifying glass search icon. Type in MRASS in the search window and then click on Next. Here you can see our five lights are part of the Block Island Wind Farm. We find light WTG3 and look in the far right column for information on the MRASS characteristic. This fog signal is radioactivated during times of reduced visibility. We need to turn our VHF FM radio to channel 83A, key the microphone five times. This will activate the fog signal, which will sound one blast every 20 seconds for 60 minutes. Now you know how to use chart number one and the U.S. Coast Guard light list to find out more information on any lighted or unlighted aid to navigation in U.S. waters. Use easy sailing navigation tips like these to sail safer on the waters of the world. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.